What's it like starting out in a tough market as a new agent, and how do you make a big success of it? Find out in today's Real Talk. Today, we have the wonderful Adriana Olteen with us. Thanks for coming on, Adriana. Thank you for having me, Peter. So you started in real estate and with our team about six or seven months ago. Right. Obviously, a very, very tough market. Uh, what do you think are the biggest things that you've learned in, in having some of the more recent successes? Because things were really tough for you, I think, at mm. first. Yeah. And then in the last few months, things have really started to click. So what do you think happened? So I think it was a combination of being a newly licensed realtor, mm -hmm. as well as when the government, that was about when the government started increasing the interest really rate them up. every yeah. single month. Exactly. So it was really tough on buyers as well as sellers. For sure. Um, a lot of the clients I was talking to, they were pulling back. They didn't want to sell their property, of course, because they were worried because the buyers were also worried as well. A lot mm -hmm. of buyers pulled out of the market and then summer came along. People were going on vacation, yes. right? But I found that as soon as September hit, a lot of buyers came flooding back into the market. Um, things are kind of looking up a little bit now. and. Um, I think in terms of what I've been doing is, of course, in the beginning, you're selling into the role of being a realtor, you're setting into the lifestyle of it. Um, but I feel like what I've been doing in the last couple of weeks has been um, really finding what um, habits and what roles I'm supposed to be doing every single day There's and sticking to, to it. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And sticking to doing the same things every single day that I know work for me. Um, so I think that's really been helpful for me. For sure, and, it, and it's a tough market for realtors, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also a very tough market for people that are trying to make a move in this market for buyers or for sellers. What do you think is the biggest thing that you've learned in helping these clients? What's the most important thing that you keep in mind when you're trying to help somebody accomplish these goals? I, I think the most important thing that I've tried to do is uh, to really listen to my clients and to be empathetic to them. And um, as I start working with, especially with buyers, uh, I primarily work with buyers at this moment. Um, what I've tried to do is I've tried to really listen to what they've been telling me, um, especially their concerns around the interest rates um, and just be empathetic to when they're mentioning that right now is not the right time for them to buy because they're nervous. I think really being understanding is important. And what are your thoughts on just that, just that sentence that you just said there? Um, buyers being hesitant with interest rates to go into the market. Is it the best time to get into the market? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Um, so for first time home buyers, it is really difficult. Um, but I think for buyers who want to maybe upsize or even downsize, it is a good time because you can, you can um, sell your property at one price, for example, and then you can downsize if you wanted to, for example, from a detached to a townhouse. And, um, you know, now is a really good time Those to transition that. Those gaps are much, much smaller than exactly. they have been in recent exactly years, right. for yes. sure. And, you know, the way I think about it is with interest rates, you're, you're, pay, you're buying a house with a higher interest rate, but yes. you're obviously paying a lot less for the home. So it's a very easy calculation to make. Would I rather buy a house at a million dollars for 1% interest or 1.5% interest, or would I rather buy that same house for 850,000 for 5% interest in the hopes that the interest rates are gonna go down? And exactly, like that's also what I've been telling my buyers, you know, this isn't, it's not going to stay like this forever. Exactly. As we know, interest rates will come down and, um, Speaking to especially our mortgage broker in the office, yeah. um, her recommendation has been, you know, sign up for a three year, three year term, you know, things will improve. Exactly. And, um, and in finishing, is there any advice that you can give to agents that are just starting out just like you did six, seven months ago? What are some hot tips to get yourself started so that they don't have, you know, a couple months of tough challenges? Yes. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily call it a hot tip, <laughs> <laughs> but I think what I've been doing is, and there's a quote that I think about it almost every single day, which is, it doesn't matter how little you're doing, but as long as you don't stop. Love it. Do something every single day that will help you achieve your goal or help you become, in my uh, instance, a better realtor. Every single day, do something, um, but just never stop. I think Stick that's really it. important. Stick exactly. To it. Love that answer. Great advice. Well, thank you very much for coming on. And thank for all you the, again. Uh, great advice. <laughs>